Welcome to Cooking in Combos with Tip and Nick. Hey, what are we doing? making today? What are we doing? Chicken teriyaki bones. Chicken, beef, and shrimp. So three protein, three proteins, and four veggies, right? Mm -hmm. Broccoli, homegrown zucchini. Picture right there. No, <laughs> Shrimp, mushrooms, and green onions to top it off. So, before we get started with our cooking, we're going to start talking a little bit with a little throwback from a couple of months ago. Derek Chauvin. Oh, God. He's been in jail this whole time, right? Yeah. Thank goodness. Remember, they arrested his ass as soon as he, uh, yeah. As soon as they said guilty. Yeah. But so, they usually bail out or something or let him out. I don't think was... you can bail out after you, um, what? After you get sentenced. Oh, he already got sentenced. Oh, I mean, yeah. not sentenced. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, uh, convicted. Yeah, convicted. Oh, okay. So, so what's going on now? Um, he is, by the time this airs, he will have been sentenced at that time. Wow. So he's getting sentenced tomorrow at 1.30. Oh, dang. So what you think? I don't know. You think they're going to give him the max? No. You don't think so? I don't think so. Cause he's a first first timer so so what you think they're gonna do about 10 years i think like 15. because okay. i think his sentence can carry up to 30 i think oh wow because i think um what all the things that he got convicted of they will run consecutively so the one that has the most is 30 years and i think that would give him probably half of it. Oh, okay. but the his defense team wants probation probation what Probation for a murder. Probation for him to be at home probation? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, right. Yep. If they do that, come on now. We made it too far to go back. Yep, so the prosecution asked for 30 years. The defense asked for probation or the least time possible. I go from one extreme, probation. <laughs> <laughs> 30 years of probation. Get out of here. <laughs> Right, and so the three other officers that we saw on the video, they um, they set their trial date for March 2020. 2022, sorry. Let's see, almost did it again. <laughs> March 2022. So are they in jail? I don't know if they're in jail. But I know they have a trial date. And aside from that, all four of them were um, indicted federally. Oh, okay. So, and that was for um, violating George Floyd's civil rights. Yeah. And that could get them the death penalty, which they probably won't get. Well, Chauvin definitely deserve a harsh. But the four, they need something. They just stand they by should. and let them do it. But I don't think they should get the heart, like, a lot of years. You just stand by and watch somebody eat, murder somebody? Yeah, but I don't, I don't know. Not the harshest. They need time, but not like they accessories. Derek need thirty years. He definitely for sure. But you know what? Accessory. They charge a lot of people of color with accessories. So you know what? Mm -hmm. Maybe they do need some time, time to think about not stopping them. Yep. So they were charged with aiding and abetting second degree murder and aiding and abetting second degree manslaughter. Okay. And they're all on trial together at one time. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Like, were they together. all standing a certain way watching? Or was one closer, one more? Like, I just remember the Asian one. I don't even remember the other two, honestly. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they going to point the fingers like, uh, he was right there. I couldn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> For nine and a half minutes, you saw something. <laughs> right. You saw something. You heard people. And get off his neck. He oh, can't breathe. You know what? And that's that. true. And the paramedic lady that was off duty mm -hmm. and she said stop. So yeah. You know what? Yeah. Y'all deserve time. Nine and a half minutes. Yeah. yeah. You knew what you was doing. Right. So. Well, we'll see the results Friday. Yeah. It's By the time this airs, everything will be down. How much time you got? You <laughs> read it on right as I'm speaking right now. <laughs> <laughs> So if we're talking about police officers, like we always say we, you know, we don't think that they're all bad. No, definitely not. So in Flint, Michigan, 
that officer killed. Oh, that was so heartbreaking. Yeah. He was sad. He was I devastated. He had to, though, right? Yeah, he had to. He had like, no choice. Yeah, because that the she was. It was first of all, it was a Juneteenth parade, uh -huh. and there was people like a whole, you know, kids, everything, so many people around. She was shooting at him. She pulled up in a car and started shooting, and he was telling her like he gave her opportunity to stop. Yeah, and then he just he shot her. Well, that gives me and chills. Broke down. I seen that. That gave me chills when he did. That's so sad. Like he. Had to protect itself yeah. at the end of the day, but I wonder yeah. what she was thinking. We get killed for not having weapons, so why was she? Well, her boyfriend died, so she's been he got killed by the police. Um, no, it wasn't by the police. Oh, he got okay. so I think she was. It was basically death by cop, like she suicide by cop. I mean. Oh, okay. So I she get it. wanted she knew. to die. Yeah. yeah. Dang. So that's so sad. Yeah, the sister said that she understand why the cop did it and she feels bad for him that he had you to know. do that yeah, yeah so yeah because he broke down with me like he fell to the ground who who crying mm -hmm. wow i wonder if that's probably the first time he ever i don't know if that's the first time he ever shot his gun i'm sure not because you have to i mean but shot somebody and she was in a car so there's yeah. no way he could have shot her legs shot anything no. else he mm -hmm. just shot back at her had to shoot back at her to get her to stop the only way to get her to stop is you first of all you want a car what if you run me over mm. You got a car and a gun. That's two deadly See, that's justified. Yeah. That's justified. Like, we get that. See, mm -hmm. we ain't against him protesting. He had to protect himself. Right. So that was what you call justified. Justified. <laughs> like, everybody, yeah, everybody trying to make up stuff for the other people. Right. So, yeah, that was a very sad day on Juneteenth. Supposed to be a good, we just got it as a holiday. And... Sad situation had to occur. Speaking of Juneteenth, how do you feel? Because so many different people are like up and down about it. They like. I'm happy that they finally acknowledge us instead of just Martin Luther King Day. Right. Um, I just think with black people being like before it became a holiday, everybody was getting on it and start mm -hmm. doing their own thing. Getting you see shirts, you right. see different things i just think that it's gonna get commercialized like right they're gonna take up target gonna take over walmart everybody gonna take over and start selling stuff and the people who've been you know the people that we should be supporting they gonna kind of get kicked to the yeah. curb because for a lot of people have been um supporting for a few years now yeah like we still well i know i still celebrate fourth of july but only reason <laughs> I'm off of Juneteenth, but why gotta be by my birthday? <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta celebrate that. No, I'm just playing. Juneteenth and Father's Day. Right. Hey. Everything. Right. <laughs> no, but that is a but good thing. But you can at least you know you always got a celebration coming. Yep. And, and I get that, birth, that day off yep. my birthday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so always got a three-day weekend. Right. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have one anyway. But. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Oh, well, it don't always come on the weekend, so yeah. but this year. Yeah. So, you want to start cooking yeah. up something? Yeah, let's start cooking. We're going to saute our veggies okay. with um, some butter, a little bit of seasoning, seasoning, you know, just plain seasoning because the teriyaki sauce and everything, we don't want to let nothing overpower it. So. Right. So, now we're cooking the broccoli. We got the broccoli. And what are you making? Um, I ain't making nothing right now. Um, the broccoli is just, we just add some salt, um, garlic, garlic powder, mm -hmm. and pepper. Butter, right? And some butter, yes. We add a butter. And we're going to let that cook for a little bit because broccoli obviously is harder than the other veggies. So once it cooks a little bit, we'll add the zucchini because we don't want the broccoli to get soggy. Yeah. So, no soggy broccoli. No soggy broccoli. Say no to soggy broccoli. <laughs> so we're gonna let that simmer. Did you um hear about DMX fiance? Oh, yes. That's why it's so important to get married. Everybody say it's just a piece of paper. It's important when you are spending your life with somebody that you call your life partner, you need to get married. Because right. people will take stuff away from you. For real. And his kids are grown. Yeah. So they can fight. But they got two separate, because you know his kids are not obviously all about the same person. So 
So they got two, one set of kids filed some paperwork, another set of kids filed paperwork. And then? Once, and then she was trying to file hers. She, she got a kid with them too. But she got denied to be, because she wanted to be the executor of the estate. Well, she trying to be, what's that wife called? Common law. Common law wife. But that's what was going to make her the yeah. executor, and they, the judge said no. Wow. So, um, yeah, she's she's going to have to sit back and wait and see what she gets. So one set of kids said that the estate is only worth $50,000 or less than $50,000, and the other said it's less than $1 million. So I guess we'll see. And he's about to come out with an album. Oh, See, I didn't know that word. Yeah, so you know money when people die, money people start buying stuff. So you know that's money too. Yep. What you think she deserved it? What do you think she deserved it? Or I think she does. If they were in a relationship like they were married, but that's what we say. You gotta do the right thing for yourself. Yeah. And if he decided that he didn't want to marry her, how long were they engaged? That part I don't know either. I don't know their relationship. Like I mean, somebody, a blog or something, I'm not quoting because I don't know exactly, but they were saying he don't, she don't, they don't think he wanted to really marry her. <laughs> That's why she was at Beyonce's status. Well, how, how, how old is the kid? It's a little baby, like five. Oh. A little That's kid. And this is our Beyonce homegirl. Homegirl. Yeah. Beyonce. 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 And this is our homegrown, that mm -hmm. huge zucchini that was in there. I'm going to just dunk that in there. Let that saute as well. Here is that big zucchini I was telling y'all about. Look Dang, at this. Bigger than the cold head. Bigger than my head, too. We're going to add our mushrooms. Pan chopped. Uh -oh. This one. Ooh. Ooh. You know they're going to uh, shrink. Shrink, yeah. <laughs> we just added our wonderful mushrooms. Earthy, earthy flavors. Mm, yum. Uh, Chris Brown, back in the news. Oh, Lord. Innocent. <laughs> he slapped somebody so hard her weed fell out. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's not slapping nobody that hard. Hey. How do uh, we? Maybe it was falling off already. Okay, maybe she had a quick weed then. Maybe, yeah, maybe it was a half wig or something. <laughs> That's a hell of a slap. Chris Brown, dang, you was doing good for some years after that Rihanna, right? Mm hmm Back to slapping the women, Lord, and slapped her weave out. <laughs> if it, she she should hit the ground if her hair hit the ground. Right. I would have just been like, he hurt my neck and my back, but <laughs> do anybody have video of this weave falling out? I would love to see this. I didn't see it. A video but when I read the story it's gonna get kicked to the district attorney's office and more than likely they're gonna drop the charges yeah cause ain't no that boy is not slapping <laughs> nobody that hard with a weed fall I can't even imagine <laughs> maybe she had that quick you know that quick weed where they put the hair down and glue it to your regular hair and he slapped her but a couple even tracks it's the glue how do you slap glue out maybe I'm a couple half a wig maybe a couple of tracks got loose maybe Maybe it was a whole wig. Maybe it wasn't even a wig. Maybe she just called it a wig. She didn't have that, that wig tightened. She didn't have no bobby pins or nothing in it. Chris out here slapping the he weed. Slapping her head. Even her hair just fell off like that. Where the memes at? I know there's got to be some memes popping with this. I didn't see no memes. <laughs> hey, Chris. I love me some a little Chris Breezy. I like Chris. Except when off of TikTok, but she didn't mention him, but everybody kept naming him. She was like, she went to a club, and one artist was like, you're too dark to sit in my VIP. And everybody was like, that gotta be Chris Brown, Chris Brown, Chris Brown, Chris Brown, but she never mentioned, so mm. I don't know if that's Chris Brown, but everybody on the comments was saying, it gotta be Chris Brown. I'm like, I watch, um, you watch Run the World? Yeah. Did you see that scene with Soldier Boy? The dark skin girl he didn't want her in, 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 in his area. In his so it was the first episode. Oh dang! No, I, <laughs> I seen the first episode. I don't even remember. But the one with the, the short, the no hair. Yeah. The, she's pretty in the face, but yeah. she's dark skin, whatever, skinny, whatever. And she she was doing it for work, actually going to go interview him, and he was like, uh uh, this can't come in my area. We almost done, y'all. Our veggies are. Steamed to perfection or sauteed to perfection, whatever you want to call it. And um, the chicken, 
and steak. It's just about done. Shrimp, everything. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I can't wait to show you guys the last result. Put in the cup. Favorite meal. One of my favorite, and I usually say my favorite. This is really my favorite. <laughs> really, really so. my favorite. Don't play games with this one. <laughs> so, um, while we're waiting on our grilled chicken and steak and shrimp, we're gonna talk a little bit more. The combo part. The combo part. The combo part. <laughs> How you feel about Monique um, giving this long speech first about she, bonnets and... First, she shouldn't have did it in her pajamas. Why Thank you. About oh, God. Bonnets. You don't go change your... Put on some clothes before now you come do it. Right. Yes. First. And second, I get it, but I don't. Like, I get it. Like, we should represent ourselves in public. But at airport, if you got a morning flight, uh, COVID, wrap your hair up and get on that airplane. Like... Yeah. You there to travel. You ain't there for a, yeah. like, um, fashion show. Like, if it's midday, yeah, come on, take off that bonnet. <laughs> but on the airplane, you can put your scarf back on because you want to cover yeah. your head while you're on the airplane. Go yeah, or go to sleep. But just walking around at noon. She said pajamas, slippers, bonnet, scarves. Well, you know how we feel about pajamas. Yeah. We don't play that pajama stuff. Yeah, like you, you can. So, if you need to go to the store right quick, just throw on some sweats, sweats. <laughs> some tights, leggings. your leggings, yeah, yeah, workout pants, whatever. Yeah, we never played about that pajama stuff, anyways. But bonnet at an airport, I get it, like bonnet just walking around. But at an airport, COVID, all this stuff going on, some people want to cover their weaves in the air. They don't want all them mm -hmm. germs in it. Yeah, true. I Especially personally, they were saying that. You could get it in your hair. Right. I personally initially. wouldn't walk around the airport with it. But if I'm in my seat already, about to mm -hmm. lay down, I would put it on. Or yeah. a scarf. Yeah, I definitely have it. Because some scarves are meant to wear out. Yeah. So. And they have new cute little bonnets where you could wrap it and it looks like a, yeah. um, like the African hat. Well, she probably wasn't talking about them. <laughs> no. She's talking about them on them, my, my, my naturally. <laughs> well, look at that. At least they cute colors. <laughs> but yeah, on the airplane, I wouldn't. I mean, you and your seat, and you trying to, you got especially a long flight. Yeah, it don't matter. But just walking around the airport, if it's early in the morning, I get it. Like six, you know, the early flights, or we even red eyes. I ain't gonna never wear no pajamas nowhere in public. I'm talking about bonnet. You have one on bonnet? No, I personally wouldn't wear no bonnet. Oh, okay. Me personally, I would not wear no bonnet walking around the airport. That's just me personally. Yeah. But once you get on the airplane, you and your seat, wrap that in lace back. And when it, you land, take it off. I just think, like you said at the beginning, you talking about represent yourself, you out in public. You may have been in the comfort of your own home, but that video was in the comfort of our own home, and we saw you in your bathroom. Right. So she could just throw on a shirt, and nobody yeah, would have paid attention. Exactly. Why did yeah. you have to be in your bathrobe? Talk, tell people, don't. Do this, don't wear pajamas, don't do that, whatever. And not even a cute one. Like, Lisa, yeah, it looks like her husband's or right. something. At least put you a little cute, <laughs> colorful, pretty one on or something. <laughs> I don't know. I think everybody needs to just stop saying what people should and should do. Yeah. Well, and she said she wasn't trying to be judgmental, but... And she was trying to be nice. I do get it, but... Represent I, yourself the way you want people to represent. I bet you if a different yourself. culture start walking around with bonnets in an airplane, everybody would accept it. Oh, yeah, of course they yeah. would. Yeah, but when, when we do it, it just always have to have a title to it, like mm -hmm. ghetto or something. Yeah, always something yeah. negative attached to it. Like I said, I wouldn't personally do it, but like, I don't know. Live your life, sis. Live your life like it's golden. <laughs> So I woke up this morning mm -hmm. and found out that Subway tuna is not tuna. Uh, what is it? I don't know, but I'm at the band Subway. <laughs> I haven't ate it in a long time, but <laughs> I don't know what it was because they said they just said that it wasn't tuna DNA. And Subway was like, "Well, you mix, it's cooked and you mix it with mayo and blah, 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 all this stuff, so you can't say that." The D a DNA test doesn't work when it's like after it's cooked and stuff. But in 2014, they already got in trouble for uh, the bread. The bread having some kind of yoga mat chemical uh -huh. in it, and then it said that they did away. They phased it out. How you gonna? First of all, 
it should have never been in there. How you phase it out? Should have just been never in there in the beginning. And phase out, just take it away. Don't fake like slowly get rid of it. My um, Charles loved the, the tuna too. I never really eat tuna at Subway. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like how it tasted. It just didn't taste flavorful to me. But yeah. Charles loved that Subway tuna. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see uh? What's that other sandwich store, Jimmy Jones? Oh, Jim? they gonna <laughs> they try to clown. <laughs> Our meat is tuna. <laughs> yeah. When we say it's tuna, it's tuna. <laughs> My coworker was like, um, I thought they gave me a, a coupon to give me a tuna sandwich, but it's just an announcement. <laughs> <laughs> and you know the thing is, that's why you need to watch Cooking in Combo, learn how to cook some meals if you can. Because remember back, I remember when I was in elementary at Jack in the Box. Remember they didn't know what that yeah. meat was? Yep. <laughs> it was like kangaroo meat or something. Or Yep. <laughs> and then they had that E. coli in there too. Yeah. I remember. Speaking of E. coli, my daddy almost died. Of E. coli? Yes. Why? So how your dad? Oh, oh yeah. That E. coli? How you get it? Somebody gave him food poisoning. At a restaurant? Mm-mm. At their house? At their house. Somebody he know? Yes. Well, apparently he know he at their house. So, um, I was like, how do you almost die from food poisoning? Was it chicken? It was steak. Really? The steak you can eat raw. Not raw, raw, but you well, can eat red. Full. Oh, damn. And, yes, he had, it got E. coli in his blood. Oh, my his God. His and he literally, it, it started attacking his organs. Heart, um, kidneys. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Yep. Dang, yeah, we trying to survive COVID. <laughs> he even got E. E. coli. About to die. He okay? Yeah, he's he's better now. But he the last time I talked to him, he was like weak. So, but he's better. He, hey, you want to go to people's house? Make sure they smell that meat first. I don't know. That's why I was like, what kind of meat? You couldn't smell how funky it was. Right. Mm -mm. I thought it was gonna be chicken. No steak. And he ate it two times. Hell, he did some good. <laughs> he was going to tear that steak up. <laughs> he thought that was extra seasoning. <laughs> Ooh, thank God he okay. I'm sorry. I'm like, thank God he okay. Yeah, so. Wow. That man in Ohio. What man? That man at the strip club got arrested for burglary. <laughs> He tried to steal a tip. <laughs> yeah, he tried to steal her the, the lap dances. That's what he was doing. <laughs> Giving her fake money. Oh my god! So I need to know. You dancing at a strip club? It's nighttime. How do they know it was fake? I don't know. Maybe they go check it. They hear it and grab it. Get the machine. Like check. I guess so. <laughs> Somebody, they must have checked it like right away, immediately, or whatever. But I wonder how. Why? Like. I don't know, but they said um, he gave her a hundred and a fifty, and um, he didn't probably break it in ones or nothing. No, well that's why they one hundred and a fifty. Yeah, you know what? That's how they do. <laughs> he was not going to a strip club. Even the rich people don't go with hundred and fifties. They put them in bands. Right. And you know what? That's you. Know, you deserve to get to jail. <laughs> you want to see booty that bad? <laughs> he would have bought some counter. He gonna see that booty. He was on that night. <laughs> <laughs> they should at least. He should at least went try to get one. He's slow. They probably. He probably would definitely got caught. <laughs> but you, what, you nobody throwing no fifties, no fifties and no hundreds. Yeah, I don't. Right. Say, I usually see bands and they yeah. just make it make it rain. When they said that he, um, they, the stripper and a. Uh, Another customer approached him and said, "Like this is fake money or whatever." Mm -hmm. He socked the customer. Another customer. <laughs> I do my damn business. <laughs> what? Like, what? Are you, what? Are you, how you plan this? You go like, I'm going to get this fake money so I can see some. Usually, people try to go buy something big or something. Well, I guess he's going to buy yeah, a big money. <laughs> and got caught at the strip club. Yes. Dumb. Stupid. <laughs> now you go arrested for burglary. I wonder how they why they say bur burglary. Oh, because the I guess uh, because the amount of the money. I don't know. He's one basically like he stole stole some ass. <laughs> <laughs> he stole. He paid oh with fake money. Goodness. 
She did all that bouncing with that fake money. Mm -hmm. I would be so mad if I was, I would be hurt. Well, she approached him. <laughs> and that other person got knocked out for him. <laughs> what he look like? Who? The man with the fake money. No, you gonna see him. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna show you. <laughs> He looks, he looks sleepy or something. Did he look like he would have money to just throw? No, nah, he didn't look, not to me. But that was a mug shot, so I don't really know. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess sometimes money, you can't tell people how they're not. But that is still funny. Like, that definitely needs to make some memes. I'm going to learn how to make a meme on that one. <laughs> In the comments, it said, earth your money. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <that> earth your <laughs> money. <laughs> well, at least Usher could back his money up. Why is yours? Okay, I don't know. I don't know why I should went in there with fake money, money with his face on it. So what they do to him? I don't know. I don't know that story. I just saw that in the when they said that. I thought they were talking about at the church. <laughs> oh, ushers! <laughs> we're all done. Beautiful, plated by Miss Marie Faith, and um. Chicken, grilled chicken, grilled steak, and grilled shrimp. So good. Simple, easy. Yeah, this was an easy, easy meal. Easy meal. <laughs> and you don't even have to cook all these proteins. You can no. just choose one, choose none, and use all vegetables. Right. Up to you. Your choice. Your choice. <laughs> it's your favorite line. <laughs> yeah, that's your life. Your choice. Thank, Thank you, you for watching Cooking in Combos with Tiff and Nick. Hey, see you next week. week.